Hello everyone. I am Dr. Nilanjana Bhattacharya Nath from Swami Vivekananda Institute of Modern Science. Today's topic is Maxim Gilbert sequencing. Basically in the mid 1970s two methods were developed for directly sequencing DNA. One the Maxim Gilbert sequencing that is also known as chemical sequencing method and the another one is Sanger chain termination method. In the year 1980 both Walter Gilbert and Frederick Sanger were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry they were awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry for their contributions concerning the determination of base sequences in nucleic acids Maxim Gilbert sequencing and the Sanger method represents the first generation of DNA sequencing methods and even though Sanger sequencing is still widespread You may be surprised to know that when both methods were rediscovered, Maxim Gilbert was the most popular. Now this was because scientists could use purified DNA directly, while the initial Sanger method required cloning for the start of each read. How does Maxim Gilbert sequencing work? Maxim Gilbert sequencing is also known as chemical sequencing. and these chemical reactions are depending on few stages we can say it requires four steps first one the preparation of the sample this is very simple the dna used in maxim gilbert sequencing is first denatured into a single stranded chain and labeled on the 5 prime end usually the 32p next step is dna cleaving This is the most important step of Maxim Gilbert sequencing. Basically, the sequencing requires DNA molecules either double stranded or single stranded. And the first and foremost thing is the labeling. They are labeled at one end of one strand with 32p. So this can be either 5 prime end labeling or 3 prime end labeling. Restriction fragment of any length is labeled at both end there for example by being first treated with alkaline phosphatase to remove terminal phosphates and then labeled with 32p by transfer from lambda labeled atp with polynucleotide kinase there are two strategies either the double stranded molecule is cut by a second restriction enzyme and then the two ends are resolved on a polyacrylamide gel and isolated for sequencing or the second one is the doubly labeled molecule is denatured and the strands are separated on a gel followed by extraction and sequencing specific chemistry behind the cleavage first guanine adenine cleavage dimethyl sulfate methylates the guanines in dna at n7 position and adenine at n3 position the glycosidic bond of a methylated purine is unstable and breaks easily on heating at neutral ph and leaving the sugar free treatment with 0.1 molar alkali at 90 degree centigrade then will cleave the sugar from neighboring phosphate group then when the resulting end labeled fragments are resolved on a polyacrylamide gel the autoradiograph contains a pattern pattern of dark and light bands dark bands arise from breakage at guanines which methylates five fold faster than adenine strong guanine weak adenine pattern it contains almost half the information necessary for sequencing next adenine enhanced cleavage the glycosidic bond of methylated adenosine is less stable than that of methylated guanosine thus gentle treatment with dilute acid releases adenines preferentially next subsequent cleavage with alkali then produces a pattern of dark bands corresponding to adenines with light bands at guanine next cleavage at cytosine and thymine hydrogen reacts with thymine and cytosine cleaving the base leaving ribosylurea hydrogen they may react further to produce hydrazone 
after partial hydrazinolysis in 15 to 18 molar aqueous hydrogen at 20 degree centigrade the dna is cleaved with 0.5 molar piperidine cyclopentamine as a cyclohexane hexahydropyridine these all are the synonyms of piperidine this cyclic secondary amine as the free base displaces all the products of hydrazine reaction from the sugars and catalyzes the beta elimination of the phosphate final pattern contains bands of similar intensity from the cleavages at cytosine and thymine cleavage at cytosine the presence of two molar sodium chloride preferentially suppress the reaction of thymines with hydrazine then the piperidine breakage produces bands only from cytosine by taking the advantage of piperidine and the other chemicals that is dimethyl sulfate hydrazine dna is cleaved at specific points using different combinations of these chemicals we can cleave a dna sequence wherever there is only a cytosine a cytosine or a thymine or only guanine or guanine or adenine if you put your sample into four different reaction tubes then you obtain different fragment depending on the combination of chemical next electrophoresis and autoradiography the reactions are loaded onto a high percentage polyacrylamide gel to differentiate fragment sizes and the fragments are visualized with the help of radioactive tag and the process is known as autoradiography and last is reading the sequence to read the sequence you begin with the smaller fragments at the bottom of the gel for example if a band in the dna sequence appear in both the g reaction and the g plus a reaction lane then that the nucleotide is g that means guanine if a band in a dna sequence appears only in the g plus a reaction lane then it is an a a stands for adenine the same decision process works for the c and c plus d reaction lanes sequences which are present only in the c plus t lane they indicate only t and the nucleotides which appears in the c reaction lane they are all cytosine so next the advantages of maxim gilbert sequencing number 1 purified dna can be read directly homopolymeric dna are sequenced as efficiently as heterogeneous dna sequences number 3 it can be used to analyze dna protein interaction that particular interaction is known as footprinting and the fourth it can be used to analyze nucleic acid structure and epigenetic modifications to dna the disadvantages but we can say why did maxim gilbert sequencing lost its popularity this method although based on very simple principles came with a lot of troubles first it requires extensive use of hazardous chemicals second it was very much time consuming a lot of steps in the method could cause problems the radioactive leveling process the cleavage reaction the gel setup the electrophoresis the x-ray film developer these are the stages and using this method you could only confirm about 200 to 300 bases of dna it is difficult to scale and cannot be used to analyze more than 500 base pairs and the read length decreases from incomplete cleavage reactions these are the basic demerits of maxim gilbert sequencing thank you